How's it going, guys? Welcome to Dub Soft Shop. Video I wanted to bring y'all today is this is the Briscoe Ported 4910. And I got on, actually, I was on YouTube watching Charles Briscoe's channel, and he put up a video of a 3D printed air filter kit. They have one of his, somebody sent him, I want to say. Uh, it's for sale on eBay. The kit's about 50 bucks, 50 or 60 dollars, I believe. And what it does, it lets you adapt the 400 style air filter to the 4910. So, what you get in the kit. You get the high top. Let me grab the original. So here's the original top cover and filter setup. Got your low top cover and your air filter. and your air filter horn. And the horn's got a rubber o-ring to keep fines from getting in. This one has been dremeled out. Most of them have like a little baffle, a little cross piece in here. I guess like a spit back protector, yada yada. But that is the stock kit. I did hear that he made a couple of upgrades to the filter horn along the way. But what you get, you get 3D printed nut for the top cover. You get a 3D printed top cover. Got me a dub saw shop sticker on there. It's very nice. Looks very good. It's got a little aluminum tab on it that's riveted to hold the front end. And this is the filter setup. As you can see, it's very nice. Definitely upgrade over stock. You get this 3D printed nut that holds the top of the filter. Get an aftermarket CS400 round pod style filter. Pleated filter, whatever you want to call it. Does have a steel mesh inside for support. And I'll bring you in to look at the horn. I ain't going to remove that right now. But I'll bring you in and let y'all see it. So here's the 3D printed horn. The stud, it's got a bolt and it's JB welded to the underside. It's kind of notched out, got the bolt stuck in it, JB welded. Very rigid. It mounts just like your stock one. Seems to be pretty rugged. So what I did do, this hole to me seemed a tad small. And I still think it's a tad small, but what I did, I went in with a Dremel and just kidney bean that joker pretty much. I need to hit a little bit more on this side, but I want to run it and test it out, see how it's going to be. But it's a pretty nice kit. It feels really rugged. It doesn't feel like it's going to crack. Um, the washer that's on that bolt does get a little tight up against this back cover, but it does clear. So that is pretty much what you get in the kit.
Actually very nice. Looks like somebody took the time. Knew what they were doing. And that is the top nut. Holds the filter down. And this nut it's 3D printed slot. The nut's dropped in. And then it's got like a 3D printed tab to retain the nut in. So you ain't got to worry about it falling out. And same deal with this. And this is the nut for holding the top cover on. I've done some modifications on the horn, but this is a OEM 490 setup, and you can see it kind of works about the same way, give or take. This is just kind of dished for 400, I mean 400, not 490. And you can kind of see how the 400 horns kind of get that same little kidney beam shape. I notched this out. This is going to wind up going on one of the polling 4620, 315, 295 kind of deals. I was going to put it on the John Cutter, but the spark plug sits like right here. And you don't have enough room to get the filter on. But this is the OEM filter. And this is the filter that comes with this kit. See the OEM filter is a little bit taller. As far as OD wise it is pretty much the same. I may go ahead and use this one being it's a tad bit taller. I'm sure it'll fit just fine. Yep. I believe she fits good. It ain't as snug. Yeah, so like that one fits really snug. It's got a, I mean, it fits, but it's got a little bit of, a little bit of slop to it, but the way the rubber is on it, I think the OEM filter would be just fine. Let's make sure this nut, oh yeah, 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 man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that fits perfect. That'll work out there, too. Now, it is recommended when you put this horn on, you put a layer of RTV between the horn and the carburetor. I did not do that yet. I'm not 100% sold on the concept yet, but I'm sold on it. I'll see how it goes, see if we get any fines in there, and if we do, I'll go back, probably put a little bit of that 1184 on it. But for now, it's how she gonna be. Um, another thing I did do, I took this hole, the neck size up, it worked putting it on like this, but it's like that hole where you have to kind of pivot this top cover on. It throws that hole off just a little bit when you're first getting it on. So I went the neck size up on that hole and it seems to be pretty dang decent. And the flat part goes down to your cover. And that's about it, man. I think that thing looks awesome. 
We'll see this filter here, have us a spare filter and a setup for a different saw. And again, that's stock setup. We'll hang on to that just in case. I'm actually gonna just set that up here. Out of sight and out of mind. I think it looks amazing though. Looks really good. Really professional. Really nice clean lines. Top cover is notched for your decomp button as well. Pretty soon that's gonna go bye bye. Don't need it. But yeah, that's her. Go ahead, fire it up for y'all. Oobles of compression, man. Boatloads of compression. cc saws all day long and then some punches way above its weight class for what it is and we'll see how this does in the future oh and so got a new shirt too i don't know if y'all seen that so these echoes they got a side tensioner. Well, my dumb tail is so used to pole ones. Inside of that little hole right there is a Phillips head screw. That also runs in and adjusts the chain. So, for like the first week, week and a half I had this saw, my dumb tail was using that front adjuster right there to tighten the chain up when it's, it's a daggone adjusting nut right here for it. I didn't know if anybody knew it was there, or I guess it's like a bypass, so if this gear strips out or something, you still have a way to adjust the chain. I don't know if y'all ever pay attention to my cool little shirts that I get, but I really like this one. The truth is out there. So are lies. Hangover Gang. If y'all had never heard, is a, a rapper named Tom McDonald. Controversial rapper, but... I really like his music. I think he speaks a whole lot of truth. And it's a whole lot of... Doesn't matter what side of the field that you're playing on. You can have differences and everybody can still get along. Kind of the same way with building chainsaws. Somebody may build one one way. Somebody may build one another way. 
Some people like machine work. Some people don't. Some people like full-blown customizable stuff going on. Some people don't. But we can all get together at the end of the day. Have fun. Enjoying the same things. Just do a little bit different. You guys have a great night. Dubs. We out.